This is a pretty big deal. The European Parliament has made a first move to relax some of the world's strictest regulation on GMOs. You see, over the past decade, new tools like CRISPR have allowed us to edit DNA super precisely, eliminating a lot of the controversy surrounding gene editing. These new methods, called NGTs for new genomic techniques, don't implant foreign DNA, but rather edit the existing one. But up until now, NGTs and their predecessor, GMOs, were in the same category legally. The new proposed policy would split NGTs into conventional-like and GMO-like categories, both of which are less restrictive than current GMO regulations. Conventional-like NGTs especially could prove useful to adapt crops to climate change, be more pest-resistant, and increase yields. Essentially, it's the same outcome as breeding these resistances the conventional way, only much faster. And with public opinion much more positive on GMOs in general in the EU, this could open the door to gene-edited crops after decades of bans. However, the council hasn't voted yet, and some member states might refuse to loosen up. If you like these kinds of stories about Europe, follow for more.